Twitch. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding and making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. Agentfortruth.com, Joe Bannister is our guest right now. And we see the global starting war with Russia. We see all the craziness going on. We see the massive bureaucratic taxes increasing. Obama promised to not raise taxes. They're going to just eat us alive. And they can just keep saying, it's the law, it's the law, it's the law, and blackmail the Supreme Court to sign off on it. At a certain point, we're going to have to turn this around. We're going right back to Joe Bannister here in just a moment to give him the floor to talk about uh, the situation on tax day. And when's enough enough? Half the country now, not even in the work roles, the rest hanging on by their fingernails, almost everybody I know. Is, is having real hard times, and uh, the answer is more taxes, more regulations, more bureaucracy. Uh, so we're going to talk about that with Joe Bannister here on April 15th. But before I go any further, remember that the globalists use making people poor a, a system of control. And every time we cover Bilderberg or a globalist event, we get the intel that they're mad that people have money to be able to come and protest them. Or that people are even able to go do that. And I saw so many comments online, like, I'm going to spend my $200 savings to drive from 
Oregon down to Nevada. It's all the money I got. Uh, or I can't go. I don't have the money for gas. I mean, it's just what an incredibly enslaved nation that people live paycheck to paycheck and our standard of living is going down with, with automation, everything, we should have more money than ever. <clears throat> the globalists admit this. They're trying to make us poor. It's like Obama telling Africans, in fact, let's try to find that. You can't have air conditioning or cars <laughs> if he lands, you know, in $50 million a day to run his operation. It's all about you being in, uh, totally poor, them being totally rich, while they attack the middle class, saying they're stingy and evil and, and greedy because they want to be middle class. And Cliven Bundy, he's a horrible thief on range fees because the range fees ran off the other 52 families that came there on wagon trains in 1877 because they got fooled into signing on to it when they already had the rights on record. And he just said, I'm not doing this. I'm not going bankrupt. And they said, all right, where's well, a paramilitary army coming for you? We're going to go back to Joe Bannister here in a moment. Just remember, we don't get taxpayer money like MSNBC. They got stimulus and taxpayer. And we don't get taxpayer money like NPR and others. We don't get product placement, behavior placement, as the media calls it, propaganda placement with government ads here. We're funded by you supporting us and our sponsors. So check out InfoWarsLife.com with just incredible supplements like the Silver Bullet, Colloidal Silver, the Lung Cleanse, uh, the the staple and you know, incredible proprietary survival shield nice and iodine that's done so much for myself and my family. You've heard the right reviews and your purchases make the broadcast possible. Infowarslife.com, infowarslife.com, or call toll free 888 253 3139. And we are going to get rid of the 25% off special tomorrow. The uh, Traveler Pro Pure Gravity Fed Stainless Steel Filters that annihilate the competition. 25% off on that right now at InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsLife.com. Normally $205, $153. They've got the pitchers with 10% off. That has the same great filter that cuts out the glyphosates and fluoride. It's the best. That's why we sell it at the lowest price you're going to find in the galaxy. InfoWarsStore.com or 888-253-3139. Get prepared and shop with the good guys. Okay, Joe, I've been ranting. I want to give you the floor now. And also tell us the latest over at your excellent website with all the resources that are there to document things for folks. I think it's key to explain to people this is illegitimate, as you've been doing for 15 years. And it really is. It's not just your opinion um, and, and where it's all going. But even if the IRS had been legitimate, it's, it's not. But if you've got all these big corporations that write the rules, like Warren Buffett, the biggest recipient of bailout money, tax money, but also you know, lobbied for it, and then lobbies for increased taxes on poor people, claiming that's robbed from the rich, give to the poor. It's robbed from the poor, give to the rich. How do we shatter that paradigm for folks and let them understand that literally the IRS is a collection agency for a foreign consortium? Well, Alex, what I like to do is, you know, the IRS likes to look at a, a paper trail, to use a paper trail to go after the average citizen. And so I encourage people to look at the IRS's paper trail. And the paper trail begins, as you know, and I've told your listeners many times, uh, back in the early 1900s, culminating in 1913 with the alleged ratification of the 16th Amendment. And um, not surprisingly, the Federal Reserve Act coming in of the same year. Uh, and that's where it began. Um, now, of course, they lied about the ratification of the 16th Amendment, but the courts have done their best to dismiss that as, as an issue Okay, fine, but it's still a fact if people want to look it up. But even if the 16th Amendment was ratified, lo and behold, the Supreme Court ruled that the 16th Amendment did not expand federal taxing power. It's not Alex Jones's opinion. It's not Joe Bannister's opinion. It's numerous Supreme Court cases that said so. And the Supreme Court also ruled, uh, they defined what income, the word income is as an income tax. And the problem is that the IRS has been, you know, BSing the public all these decades that they have income when they go to work every day and trade an hour of their time for an hour of pay. And the thing is that that doesn't square with what the Supreme Court says that income is. Also, most Americans are, are not liable to pay the federal income tax. These are facts. The IRS even acknowledges that you're required to file a tax return with the IRS for any tax you are liable for. 
look it up in the instruction booklet. Uh, I like the way, Alex, you always tell people, look it up. Uh, the only problem is that not enough people look it up <laughs> because these are facts. And it's only the IRS using their little pamphlets and, and flyers and handouts uh, and the fact that their own agents, you know, that's what they use as flyers and handouts rather than the actual Internal Revenue Code, the Supreme Court cases. And then you've got the federal judiciary, the appellate courts, who are not ruling in line with the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, so actually, the landscape isn't all that difficult to, to understand if you just take a look. And as, as Alex Jones always tells people, look it up. <laughs> Keep going. I mean, walking through this and, and, and then tying it in uh, to all the persecution you've gone through, where you think this country's going versus where you'd like to see it go? Well, I, I'm sure many, many people know, maybe they don't know, that the uh, graduated income tax is the darling of Karl Marx. It's one of the ten planks of the Communist Manifesto. It's a book that Marx wrote with Engels. It's an actual book, and they call for all of these things to advance Marxism. And a graduated income tax is a Marxist darling. It's not a Jeffersonian darling. It's not a Washingtonian uh, darling. It's, it's a Marxist darling. And we have it. Also, a central bank is another Marxist darling. Uh, and, and these systems are about robbing you of your property and controlling you. And we now have 100 years, over 100 years. Uh, the, 2013 was the 100th anniversary of the um, 16th Amendment and the Federal Reserve Act. So we have over 100 years of track record to see that all these so-called conspiracy theorists that said that these systems were all about control and taking your property, that's what's happening. That's what's been happening for decades. And uh, you know, with Mr. Bundy and his family, you've got the BLM uh, rather than the income tax per se, but uh, don't worry, the income tax agents, uh, if they haven't already been banging down his door, they will as well. You know, a bureaucracy has multiple alphabet soup agencies to sick on you, and uh, they're going to overwhelm, overwhelm you until we recognize we're 300 million people, they're 545 people, and this is, you know, the deck is actually stacked in our favor if we would just realize it. Just to understand the evil of the system we're dealing with and how they targeted you, why don't you tell listeners briefly, Joe, just a recap of all the persecution you went through. But the system ended up working because the system's being discredited, the establishment system. Our old system, the jury did, did end up actually finding you not guilty. That's right. And I, you know, as much as we all rail about uh, how our rights are being destroyed and, and picked apart, uh, we still have a few of them left, and those are the rights, of course, we have to use uh, to get our country back. Uh, I did have a, a jury trial. Uh, basically, the IRS and the Department of Justice, um, well, primarily the IRS, 95% of what they do does not involve a jury. You basically have to be charged criminally in order to get a jury of your peers to evaluate your conduct. And after uh, I resigned in 1999, and in 2004, I was indicted on four federal felony counts, um, conspiring to defraud the United States of America and preparing three false amended income tax returns. And the IRS had already been raking me over the coals civilly because in the civil arena, the IRS, there's no, like I say, no juries involved. It's all administrative. A lot of the things that Mr. Bundy was, is experiencing same with me uh, and same with most Americans. They can rake you over the coals administratively and you have no jury, no judge even looking at the situation. Uh, but you have to be charged criminally where you're gonna face prison in order to actually have a jury evaluate your conduct. And that's what happened to me when I was indicted in 2004. My trial occurred in June of 2005 in Sacramento, California, and it lasted five to seven days. And uh, the jury learned how the government, the IRS and the Department of Justice, had no case against me. They, they claimed that I conspired with my client to defraud the United States of America. Yet my defense attorneys point blank asked each and every witness of the government, did you witness any kind of conspiracy uh, going on with Mr. Bannister? No. 
Did you encounter any documents that showed that there was a conspiracy? No. Did you see anything 